Page 32, the James Bond theme. For four time, no sharps or flats in the key signature, we're in the key of A minor. Make sure you can do the A minor scale, and while you're at it, do the C major scale. It also has no sharps or flats. Now rhythm wise, this should not be a problem. You got a quarter notes and eighth notes and all that. But we got repeated notes, so I want to talk about those. At the beginning, in the right hand, you just got these chords, okay? But when you get to measure five, you got these repeated notes, one and two and. to encourage you to make it a little more difficult for now, but it will make it a lot easier later on because when you have repeated notes, especially when it gets fast, and this is a fast piece, sort of, if you can kind of get the handle on this idea of using different fingers. So I'm going to do a one, three, one, three. So it's, and then here it's just a one, two, one. And then a two, four. I mean, I could reach up and do a three, two, but four is easier. And then, and then, that kind of fingering, this, just different fingers, because when it speeds up, that's so much easier. You just have to watch out. So I'm trying to finger it in a way so I'm not using the same finger for two consecutive notes, one after another. Some something, it doesn't matter what the fingering is. It's at the end of the line there, a major six, the last notes. I, I, I don't want a thumb involved here because I want thumb for the next note here. So I'm here. I can use third finger because I don't want, otherwise I'd use thumb. But again, I want thumb for that note. So I don't want thumb. So it's... So, so. So I'm back to that. Any fingering you choose is it's whatever. Just not the same finger on all these repeated notes. A measure nine in the right hand. It's a G sharp and a G natural. And then here, crossover. That's fine. A measure 16. One and two. And they want you to come up here. I would prefer you to do a one two, not a one three. I'm closer. That's all. Just let's me be a little closer to the third finger. I got more to go. So and then you come out. So it's one and two and three and four. And they put in the counting in them to help you out. That's fine if you need it. One and two and three and four and one and two and at the end of sharp B. That sounds wonderful. Well, it's a tritone. What do you expect? So, yeah. Left hand, now at the beginning of here, because the, you're going here. When I get this kind of a pattern in the left hand, I use 5 2 on the first one and then thumb on the others. Thumb doesn't have to do it all. In fact, if you want to, if you've got big hands you don't want up here, you can use second finger there. on how big your hands are, but I'd still use 5-2 on the first one. Put the hands together, it's here. Connect these as best you can. It's the right hand gets the rest, not the left. That's it, really. That's okay. As far as articulation goes, you're connected as best you can, and after you get to know it, if you feel some staccatos, add some in there, or some accents. It'd be nice to at least feel the natural accents. That's the first beat of a measure. Here, measure five. One. 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 So feel the first beat of each measure helps a little bit. Dynamics, both hands at the beginning, you're going to swell. When the 
right hand comes in a measure five, that takes over the moderately loud, the left hand is to stay in the background. So forth. And then a measure nine, it's moderately loud in the right hand. Come down, moderately soft, both hands. And at the end, measure 15, or you're going to crescendo measure 13. Accented, it's still loud, and then soft for the last note, which has an AV under it, so you go down here if you have the note. Play the lowest day you got, whatever it is. If, it, if you don't have that note, play the lowest day you got, I guess is what I'm saying. Then speed, well, good luck with this. It's fast. It's supposed to be tension, exciting, ooh, excitement, ooh. through same speed all the way through well how fast can you do these repeated notes accurately that how fast can you do those accurately and that pretty much will tell you how fast you can take the piece because you don't take part of it fast and then the rest of it just no the whole thing's got to be one speed and then just to make it more fun and exciting, they've added pedal. Why are we adding pedal? Well, it is kind of dry the way it is, and it'd be nice to connect these notes. Pedal will help us do that, but we don't want to smear it up, so we can't do that all the time. So it's start at the beginning, it's overlapping pedal, and it's legato for the first couple of lines. So the notes go down first into the pedal. I'm going to change the pedal with each half note. notes because this has to be choppy this has to be we don't want to connect them no that ruins it is you got to have this choppiness going on in here but then on measure nine you can go ahead and start connecting them don't pedal until after you play that Last line there, measure 15, you're here. just hold the pedal down. No, we don't need all that. Ugh. So I'm going to change the pedal about every two beats in there. Start at measure 16, well measure 15 you're here, and then it change here, change here. And I, I lower down there. That way it's not quite so blurry, so measure 15 is... what I would do. You have to experiment again. What do you like to hear? What sounds are you after? I just don't like that. That. That's not the effect I was after. Maybe it is for you. All right, fine. Go with it. to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. We're just going to play the notes and the rhythms very slowly. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go.
three, four, 